Well, oh, there's one. A little bit bigger, guys. Late third, maybe early fourth in star. Same one. Beautiful male. How close would you let me get? Beautiful, beautiful pipe vine. All right, guys, so David Fine here from Keys Moths. I'm here at my dad's house, my parents' house in Delray Beach, Florida. Uh, came for Mother's Day, check it out. And now, who knows, guys, what type of plant this is? If you know what this is, you will also know that it has a very cool um, butterfly association with it, especially down here in South Florida. So, guys, we are gonna show you what butterfly do you think is attracted to this flower. It actually smells kind of bad, but there's a beautiful butterfly that's attracted to it. So uh, stay tuned guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the bell for notifications and don't forget to like the video. Uh, and guys, you're gonna learn a lot about some butterflies in South Florida. So hope you like this video, check it out. Well, these are not moths. Those are my parents' dogs, right, Lorenzo? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Uh, this is Greta and Sasha. They're having fun. It's welcome to Florida, South Florida in May. Uh, it's usually 95 degrees out this time, but now it's what, Lorenzo? How, maybe 78, 70. 75 right now, it's kind of nice. And uh, guys, here's what we're gonna do. I'm actually here at my dad's house. It's Mother's Day. Welcome. Welcome yes. to my backyard. 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 <laughs> so, I Pops. Mango trees and... Yeah, mango trees. Have you got any mangoes from this thing? No, the iguanas get them all. The iguanas eat them yeah. before you get to, huh? I had three this year and they all got taken. I think you need to call Raj the iguana. iguana. You need to call Raj the iguana man. I'm an iguana man myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So um, Pops has always had, this is the house I grew up in guys and uh, we've always had butterflies because we always have butterfly plants. You can see some zebras floating around there. Sasha wants to be on camera. Greta wants to be on camera. Cypress trees. Well, I remember we used to have Australian pines here and uh, we took care of them. We did and we got cypress trees. So guys, this is cool because right now I'm looking at as the dogs are zipping around. Little canal in the backyard. There's a Julia. You can see the Julia floating around. Oh, it's actually coming this way. There's a Julia floating around. And, yep, right past me. Julia. And there's a zebra. A couple zebras floating around here. Oh, they're just being very friendly today. Dog just. Oh, look at that zebra. How close will he let me get? He likes this thing. There he goes. Well, anyway, there's always cool plants and cool bugs at my parents' house. Got a little, they always have their little orchids going. But, guys, here's the deal. Um, so, any systemics on your can canna lilies, Dad? Yes, yes, there are. There is systemic there on your are. canna lilies, yeah. So, guys, uh, my dad and I are in a war. There are still some. Dude. Are there still some? Yeah. My dad and there I are were. always in a war because he he likes, and I'm sure my yeah. mom likes these beautiful red and orange flowers and uh, actually leaves on their canna lilies. But I like whenever the uh, leaves get folded over like this. Oh, see, that one, that one died because of the systemic, but that was a Brazilian skipper larva. Oh, I remember Yeah, you remember those, right? Oh, there's a Julia, look. Look at the Julia. What, what kind of flower is that, Dad? That's a lavender. So the Julia's on the lavender. He's been there for almost two weeks. He comes every day. Really? Same one. Same one. Beautiful Same male. Little yeah, little male Julia. He was coming at my red phone case. 
getting a little territorial on me. Look at Julia. Dave, I might have one here for you. Yeah? No. No. Look at the look at the Julia coming at my red phone case, Dad. Look at that. See him? Look at him. Well, Dad, you have a definitely have a very colorful backyard. You got one? Yeah. Lorenzo has something for us all. Lorenzo, what do you got for us, buddy? You got a little Brazilian skipper? Yeah. Oh, look at him. He's alive. He's doomed. He's doomed. He's, doomed. Oh, he's not going to live for long. This is this is an enemy of my dad's because they like pretty plants. They like pretty canna lilies. Um, yeah, I guess I can't blame them. When those guys get bigger, they're the ones with the see-through uh, skin. Uh, you got your angel's trumpet going? All right, no no caterpillars on these guys, huh? Haven't seen them? Oh, uh, Lorenzo wants to try and save the Brazilian skipper. I don't know if that's gonna work. I might just throw him in the water for bad. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, so here we go, guys. So now, the reason I'm showing you all this is because I wanted to show you, uh, this is a pipe vine plant that my dad has, and we've had this here for the better part of what, 10 years? More than that, right? 15 years and look at the beautiful flowers that this thing's got this is an aristolochia oh gosh i forget the species name of that aristolochia but beautiful beautiful pipe vine this is actually an exotic species we do have some native pipe vines here uh and this is not exactly butterfly weather because it's actually kind of drizzly and rainy but he dropped a deuce on me. He dropped a deuce on you? Or I, I just put him on my hand <laughs> and there I go. He dropped a deuce on the rent. Well, if this was sunny out, there would probably be black and gold butterflies zipping around this plant because this is the host plant for one of the South Florida tropical beauties, the Polydamus swallowtail or the gold rim swallowtail. Uh, they are very, very prolific if you put this plant in your yard guys if you get an aristolochia any of the dutchman's pipes or any of the pipe vines uh you if you put this in your yard you're gonna have pipe vine swallowtail so uh, guys what i plan on doing is i want to show you like just how how insane these guys are now my dad i don't know how he gets this thing to be so so full and thick because the pipe vine swall or the polydamus swallowtails come and do a number on it. So let's see if we can find some eggs or caterpillars. I guarantee you guys, if we look, we'll be able to find something going here. All right, here's the first, here's the first thing. Here, look at this, guys. Check this out. This, this is a big larval cluster Looks like these guys are first instar, maybe second. Second instar, polydamus swallowtail caterpillars, guys. And you can see there's about a dozen of them on there, maybe more. And those guys will get very, very big, very, very quick. Very cool. So that's a bunch. They are gregarious when they're smaller. And as they get older, they will, uh, they will split up and go solitary. All right, guys, what else can we find on this vine? I wanna see, I wanna see if I can show you other oh, guys are playing with the dogs. <laughs> well, when you have a German Shepherd. <laughs> okay, well, they're having fun with the German Shepherd. All right, let's see if we can find some more caterpillars. Let's see what happens if we kind of poke around underneath these leaves. I'd love to find an egg cluster and get that out of the way. Oh, there we go. Got one. Check it out, guys. There is an egg cluster. There's a little cluster of eggs right here. Hold on one second, buddy. Here is a little cluster of eggs. There's probably a dozen eggs right there and they are laid only on the very brand new stems, the mare stems of the plant. 
Um, you can see them there, little golden eggs, golden colored eggs. They are all over the place. Okay, let's see, what else can we find? Let's see if we can find either some more eggs or a larger caterpillar, guys. We found the little tiny, tiny guys. What else can we find here? If we look, I guarantee you, we will find more. Oh, there's one. A little bit bigger, guys. All right, so this looks like it could be late third, maybe early fourth in star. So the caterpillar is getting a little bit bigger, and they're looking a little bit more like they would uh, when they're older. So it's a pretty cool caterpillar. They are toxic, guys. The pipe vines are all toxic plants. They hold toxins. The caterpillars hold the toxins in. Um, and let's see if this guy has the osmeterium. Yep, see so there's the osmeterium that it spits out. They got their little osmeterium thing going. And he, that little appendage, that little fleshy appendage by his head, he extends that out and it smells pretty badly and smells like the uh, toxins of the plant, guys. So he's gonna try and do that to avoid, to avoid being eaten. Let's see, what else do we got? We look around, look around. Oh, we got more small caterpillars. Check it out, right here. Right on the very tip of this guy. These are very, very young caterpillars. First in star. See how they eggs were laid right here on the tip. They ate and they chewed this stem. Now they're working their way down the stem. And then right here, actually, there's another, there's a couple eggs. Actually, right there. So very good. And guys, we're finding caterpillars. Ooh, another little guy. So there's more. Look at them. Here's another cluster, cluster caterpillar. That looks like something happened there. Somebody got injured and bled on the leaf. It's kind of ugly looking. So I'm really looking for something a little bit bigger. See, they call them a pipe vine because of the shape of the flower. It looks like a pipe that somebody would smoke. There's a developing flower, you can see that. And they get, this is actually a very large flower. And when they, uh, when the flower gets bigger, the pipe gets bigger, that's, that's almost the size of my hand. It hasn't opened yet, so it'll split down the middle and open up. See, this guy's about to open up here. Check it out. Look at this. That's a pretty cool pipe. Pipe vine right there. Aristolochia, and it'll open up. Once it opens up, they look like this. It's a big, big flower. This flower's the size of my hand, guys. And uh, this species or this group of plants are known for having uh, carrion smelling flowers. So they attract not, not sweet smelling flowers like most, but actually smells like carrion and a lot of times beetles and flies will go in uh, because it smells it actually smells bad and actually yeah my fingers just after touching the flowers don't smell very good so that's pipe vine it's not the most glorious smelling plant in the world but man they they do have pretty flowers and the butterflies they attract are pretty too here's some more small caterpillars tiny caterpillars are everywhere I'm hoping to find a big guy for you. Hoping to find a big guy. <laughs> and let's see. Where are the big guys? And that's how you look for them. A lot of times the bigger ones, they go hide a little bit better and they pupate on the stems. So I'm not seeing any, but even if we don't find any big guys, I can always come back in a few days and uh, these little ones will be, will be bigger if systemic that my dad puts on the canna lilies doesn't kill them. So we'll see how that goes.
All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video on some backyard bugs in uh, Delray Beach. And uh, it's cool. We got pipe vine, uh, polydamus swallowtail caterpillars here. Uh, we're going to show you some bigger caterpillars in a future video, maybe some adults. So hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications and like it. Uh, check out our website, it's keysmoz.com. Got plenty of stuff there for you to see on the butterflies and moths of the Florida Keys, all 700 species, including the polygamous swallowtail butterflies. Let me see you. Bless you. Uh, so guys, hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, take care and let's enjoy South Florida. Bye now.